owe Americans, the world's self-proclaimed guardians of freedom and democracy. We've been at it for decades, sending our troops, spending trillions, and getting involved in conflicts that most of us can't even point out on a map. Now let's talk about the Philippines and the hypothetical scenario where China decides to invade. Are we going to step up to the plate like we've done so many times before? Or are we going to let them fend for themselves, just like we're watching the Ukraine situation unfold? First off, let's get real about the Ukraine-Russia saga. It's been a grand display of how much we value our allies when the chips are down. We've given them weapons, sent them thoughts and prayers, and of course, we've condemned Russia in every possible way short of, you know, actually stopping them. Because, let's face it, getting our hands dirty in a direct conflict with Russia? That's a bit too much for our taste. Sanctions and speeches are more our style. So, when it comes to China invading the Philippines, you have to wonder, are we really going to do anything differently? The Mutual Defense Treaty between the U.S. and the Philippines, signed in 1951, is like that dusty old marriage vow, in sickness and in health. Except, when the sickness is an invasion by a global superpower, are we really going to honor it? Sure, the treaty says that an armed attack on one of us is an armed attack on all of us. But treaties are only as good as the paper they're written on, right? And who among us is eager to jump into a war with China over some islands in the South China Sea? The kind of enthusiasm we had for wars back in the 20th century has been replaced with a much more sophisticated strategy of hand-wringing and strategic ambiguity. Now, suppose the Philippines does invoke the treaty. Are we obliged to follow it? Well, technically, yes. But technicalities have a funny way of getting fuzzy when national interests are at stake. We could, of course, fulfill our obligations by sending some symbolic forces, maybe an aircraft carrier or two, and then letting diplomacy run its course. You know, the kind of diplomacy that involves a lot of meetings, stern warnings, and then maybe, if we're feeling particularly bold, some sanctions that China will laugh off while continuing to build artificial islands and expand their influence. Because, hey, if sanctions didn't stop Russia, why would they stop China? But let's assume we do decide to follow through. What's in it for us? Protecting the Philippines might give us some strategic advantage in the Pacific, maybe even allow us to project power and keep China's ambitions in check. But honestly, is that worth the billions in taxpayer dollars we'd have to spend? Is it worth the potential lives lost? The last thing the American public wants is another endless war. We've had enough of those. Thank you very much. So, while the strategic benefits might be there on paper, in reality, it's a tough sell to the average American who's more concerned with gas prices and healthcare than with islands on the other side of the world. Let's not forget the economic angle. China is our largest trading partner, and any serious conflict with them could have catastrophic effects on the global economy, not to mention our own. So, do we really want to jeopardize that over the Philippines? Wouldn't it make more sense to just let the chips fall where they may, and then figure out how to deal with the new geopolitical reality once the dust settles? After all, it's not like we're strangers to dealing with the aftermath of conflicts we didn't prevent. And then there's the matter of public opinion. American citizens have grown increasingly skeptical of foreign interventions, especially after the debacles in Iraq and Afghanistan. The idea of sending American troops to fight and possibly die in a war with China over the Philippines is not going to sit well with a public that's more interested in bringing troops home than sending them abroad. So is it just a waste of American tax money? To a lot of people, the answer would be a resounding yes. Sure, the Philippines is a longtime ally, and yes, we have a treaty with them. But let's be real, how many of us actually care about the Philippines? How many Americans could even find it on a map? The truth is, for most Americans, the Philippines is just another far-off place with problems that don't really concern us. The idea of going to war to protect them seems like an absurd waste of resources especially when we have so many problems here at home that need addressing. So will we protect the Philippines if China invades? Maybe, but it will be a reluctant, half-hearted protection, full of caveats and conditions. We might send some ships, 
make some threats, and hope that it all blows over without us having to really get involved. Because at the end of the day, we Americans are tired of being the world's policemen. We're tired of spending our money and our lives on conflicts that don't really benefit us. And if that means letting the Philippines fend for themselves, well, so be it. In the end, it's all about priorities. And right now, our priority seems to be avoiding another costly, unwinnable conflict. So unless someone can show us a really compelling reason to jump into the fray, we'll probably just sit this one out, just like we're doing with Ukraine. Because, hey, we're America. We've got bigger fish to fry.